Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War World Event Team video for you guys. Now in this one, I'm going to showcase to you the fastest team that I could put together for this World Event. And I, I think it's going to be great for players at a high level and at a low level. In fact, this team is going to one-shot for majority of this world event especially if you want to do your share and get the hell out of this world event this is going to be the team for you man all right so up front on the team we're going to be having the ruby macaque ruby macaque is let me tell you so useful it's crazy man if you didn't get the campaign in which this weapon was available in in fact the weapons and the crafting material that you use to craft this weapon if you didn't get that I know you're kicking yourself in the in the in the behind right now. Um, this weapon deals true damage to all enemies. Then it will create those booty gems and explode five gems. And I love to recite the uh, the weapon upgrades on this. It has prosperous, treasured, lightning, and vampiric, stealing life from the first enemy. The class of choice here is the Sentinel class. Why I decided to go down the route of the Sentinel class here is because this class is a very useful class. And as a matter of fact. If you are still leveling classes, this is one of those classes that you should get to level 100 very quickly. The Sentinel class has for its traits, it has Leader, it will gain 3 to all skills if in the first position. It has Holy Armor, it reduces damage from Skulls by 40%, and it has Get Behind Me, a 25% chance to bury a random ally at the start of my turn. Along with that, I have these talents set in the... Um, in the talent tree, I have Impact Set, uh, Vanguard is notable as well, Razor Armor, Rock Solid, Banishment. Banishment is very good because if the enemies somehow become submerged, I'm able to cast this, um, or I should say I should, I'm able to match a 4-gem match or a 5-gem match, whatever gems, and, um, and get those enemies um, dispelled so that I'll remove those positive status effects that are on the enemy troops, along with that I have Fortitude set. And as you guys can see as well, I bought up a couple potions here. So I have the potion of enchantment and the potion of explosion, the potion of rejuvenation, the potion of armor. And along with that, I have attached my Medal of Might, right? So I'm gaining 160% skull and spell damage for all troops in this event. So keep that in mind when you're running through this event attach those um medals it's gonna help you out a lot in this world event uh the spirit of rage is also on this team this is a generator option in the second slot just in case my room macaque does not get the job done somehow and i need to get the room macaque spell ready again i'm going to be having this to cast a spell of exploding three gems and two more for each enrage ally than enrage a random ally his uh, traits are bloodlust he will become enraged when enemy dies he has grudge he will gain one attack when an enemy casts a spell and he has fire link as well he will gain bonus red mana from red gem matches um urskula this is the troop that gives a 50 percent mana start to all urska allies at the start of battle with that northern clans final trait along with that as well if you want to you can cast the spell of rage bolt right it will deal 69 ayo shout out celester 69 scatter damage boosted by enrage allies then enrage all allies and give them six attack now it's a decent spell not the most useful because scatter damage as opposed to, as opposed to true scatter damage um, would love to see this change to true scatter damage in the future. Shout out to the devs. All right, I have this sucker all gold medaled as well. And Larry Reza is going to be at the back of the team. Why? For that final trait, the Unstable Mind, Conjure a Madness Storm, right? This was in the Journey event last week. And since we're in a Urskaya World event this week, might as well put the sucker in the team, right? This is going to be here for giving those blue gems on the board from the storm it's very useful to get the ruby macaque spell ready very quickly and along with that some mana is going to pass on or trickle down to the to the spirit of rage right here in the second slot all right let's take a look at the banner here the banner of choice is the sunken banner from the sunken fleet factions a plus two on blue plus one on red and then we're minus in green only urskula uses green mana and i'm not going to be casting her a lot if indeed i need to cast her i can but for a long time in this in this event for a very 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 deep into the event because we are bypassing enemies armor we're hitting straight to their hp this is going to hit for a 
like one shot for a very, very long time. So I just want to make that very clear. So enough with the talking, let's hop into a fight and see how this actually works out. And as I said before, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you really want to go down the, the, uh, what do we have? There we go, man. This is so quick. Um, you really want to go down the route of taking highest level and highest rarity in this. It's simply take uh, lowest level, highest rarity, I should say. Lowest level, highest rarity. So I think the rarity order goes down for battles from uh, Kurundar at the top, followed by King Urskula, followed by... Sorry, let me repeat that again. Kurundar gives you 12 pages. King Mikael gives you 10 pages. Urskula gives you 8 pages. Prince uh, Barislav gives you 6 pages. Iron Vlasta gives you five pages, and Erska Savage gives you four pages. Sorry if I was a bit confusing at the start, but you want to go down this by means of rarity order. And once you see Erskula or King Mikhail, pick King Mikhail, okay? All right, let's keep on going. Let's see if we can run through a couple more fights and see how they work out, because I think this team is going to be great, man. Nothing is going to be coming close to the speed of a team like this. All right, second turn, I should be ready. There we go. One shot, right? And you're going to be able to do this pretty deep into the event. Um, way more than um, than you would have with any other team. Of course, there are other true damaging options as well in the weapon options. So if you want to go down here to spell effect and then go down to true damage right there. And then let's put this at rarity order and there we go these are all the true damaging options that you're going to be able to use here one of the better ones is the tides lash weapon this deals true scatter damage what earth killer should have been dealing and along with that it will pull the last enemy to the front the only difference with this true scatter damage is ran is damage randomly broken up true damage i should say randomly broken up over across the enemy team so it might not go as deep as the ruby but you can still use it if you need to um, what well, other options are here that could touch two or more enemies? As well as this one, Gear Slinger is a true damaging option as well, um, which is okay. And um, even this one, which is the Crypt Keeper, this can actually be used with this team um, because it is going to be dealing true damage to all enemies below them. Okay, so it death, death marks the first enemy, then all enemies below them are going to be taking that true damage. Um, not the preferred option. Ruby Macaque is the one that stands out the most here uh, for true damage. I just love using this weapon. All right, let's see if we can get a quick kill right here. There we go. Got the match. Bang. There we go. One shot, baby. One shot. That's all it takes. Um, I, I, it's not like I'm trying to make fun of persons who didn't get this campaign. Man, if you missed it, sorry about that. But if you saw this in the Forge... And you were like, eh, not going to get it. Man, that was a bad choice. That was a bad decision, man. That was a bad decision. Um, of course, I know some players are very strict when it comes on to not spending money in the game. But you have to be wise at times, man. You know, certain restrictions are going to pop up in which this, this is going to be some of the only weapons you're going you're gonna to have at your disposal. And... That's just how I view it. I don't want to be in a spot and I'm looking like, man, I could have just spent like five dollars and i would have gotten that weapon you know what i mean just to support the game right so yeah let me know what you guys think about that man do you agree with me that players should get off their high horse and you know splurge a little a, a little bit just a tiny bit you know support support the developers man support the game support the gems of war community you know what i mean that is very important all right let's go down here and pick urskula i think this will give me eight pages right um, I, I should say as well, as these battles progress and the battles become harder, you will gain 25% more pages. So keep that in mind if you want to maximize on the amount of pages you're getting per fight. If you see those harder battles, you might want to take them, um, especially as you're, you get deeper into the event. All right, uh, let's collect this. I love to collect the rewards as I move along. I don't want to keep them there. All right, where are we going here? Where are we going here? King, this is the prince, right? I think I should pick the prince right here. All right, let's do two more fights, and then I'm going to bounce out of here, man. Don't want to waste your time repeating the same thing over and over again. 
think you've gotten enough information so as to do well in this event. All right, can I get some gems? There we go. Okay, good. Wow, that is too easy. <laughs> that is too easy. All right, one more. One more, man. All right, there we go. We got another Kurandara fight. Ooh la la. All right, can I get spell ready off the jump? There we go. That's why you want to have a storm. You always want to make use of a storm. Always. There we go. We actually got to cast Urskula. All right, so that is the team, guys, as well as some um, guidance regarding the event. Hopefully, I didn't make any mistakes when pointing this stuff out. Because sometimes I totally forget what I'm saying and <laughs> go on some weird tangents but um yeah the roof mechanic at the top of the team dealing true damage to all enemies then creating those booty gems and exploding five gems the spirit of rage is as well going to be on the team for generating mana for the team by exploding those three gems and two more for each enrage ally earth killer for the 50 percent start as well as as well as a good way to enrage all allies and larissa is back of the team for the madness storm if you guys and gals found this video helpful and informative, make sure that you smash that like button and comment to let me know what you guys think about this team or about any other team that you are using right now for this world event. All right, guys. Catch you all next one. Peace.